Hello everyone, good afternoon from my side. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Is your girl here, Anita Brown, in case you're coming across my channel for the first time, okay? All right, my darling, how is your week going? I hope it's going on well. We're getting into, you know, the weekend, weekend vibes, because we are alive, we have every cause to glorify God. Amen. All right, it's time for our word for today, courtesy of UCB. And our topic today says, always be open-minded, part one. And our Bible reading is taken from the book of Proverbs 24, verse 32. And I read from my Bible, verse 32 says, Then I saw and considered it well. I looked upon it and received instructions. Are you ready to receive instructions? Let's find out, my darling. All right, okay. King Solomon is considered one of the wisest men who ever lived. He wrote three books in the Bible and is quoted regularly. And he was a lifetime learner and seeker of truth. When I saw it, I considered it well. I looked on it and received instruction. Note the word, I considered it well. That should be your fixed attitude in life. God's plan for you is to keep learning, changing, growing, and maturing until you draw your last breath. It's not now, okay? <laughs> and that means always being open-minded. Consider the Pharisees. They were 100% committed to their belief system. They were also the best educated people in the society. Yet, they resisted Jesus and the truth he shared at every turn. Why? Number one, for three very common reasons. One, pride. If what Jesus says is right, that makes us wrong. Two, security. If we accept what he is teaching, what will happen to our reputation and our income? Three, tradition. We have believed and done things this way for generations. Can you see where we are going with this line of thoughts? And can you see how it may apply to your life? One pastor said, It is good to be saved and sanctified. As long as you are not saved, sanctified, and stuck. Spiritual growth requires two things. A hunger for truths and the humility to acknowledge that you will still have more to learn. Those are two qualities that God always honors. The humble he guides in justice, and the humble he teaches his way. Psalms 25 verse 9. So, always be open-minded. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Always be open-minded. Are you willing to do that if you have not been doing that? I know you're going to tell me, oh, challenges of life might make me not to do that. But what we are taught here is different from that kind of understanding. Just like Solomon, he was wiser, he is the smartest, and also a lifetime learner. He never stopped learning because he knew that anything he has learned from God is going to go a long way for him. Unlike the Pharisees, okay, with all their education, attainment, everything they had, they found it very difficult to believe in Jesus. And you don't want to be that. So, and they had this thing like pride, their security, their tradition, the way they've been doing things. They just want to stick to that. That is one thing about change. Change is constant. Do not be afraid of change because... Hmm, you might not know when God is speaking to you and you say you want to hang on to your tradition or the way you've been doing things in your life. God is giving you an opportunity for a good lifetime. So don't miss it. All right, don't be smart with pride, but with God in your life. That word came from my daughter. <laughs> so my darling, I don't think we're going to add much here, but just for you to remember that you always have to have an open mind okay so that when god sees it he considered it to be well and you will receive it so that he will walk through you all right my darling 
Amen. That is it for today. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from what for today. And we are reading the Bible for the whole year. Can you refer back to my previous video? Actually, yesterday we read Ecclesiastes chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 6, and 2 Corinthians chapter 5. But today we are reading Ecclesiastes chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 9, and 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Thank you again for listening. You know, I love you, but God loves you most. Have a lovely day. All right, the remaining day, okay? Before the day runs out, I wish you nothing but joy. Okay, thank you for watching. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Eh? <laughs>